What's up guys? Welcome back to Boost Brothers Garage. Today, giving you a little update on the wide body 944. I've already been working, I'm already dirty. Let's get after it. It's obviously been a while since I've worked on this car and uh, well, that's for good reason. We kind of put it on the back burner while we built the 944 race car because uh, we needed a car to race this season. And then the M3 came along and we've been helping Thomas with his 914 and whatever. But it's finally time to get back to this thing because I would really like to have it on the road in 2019. And if I don't get started now, that's never going to happen. So today I have gone through and I've continued stripping the car and I've already got all the suspension off. There's the whole rear suspension assembly, the torsion tube carrier, front A-arms uh, with the spindles and hubs and everything still on, and the control arms. There's the front cross member, steering rack, all that stuff. There's my rear coilovers and my tool cart full of stuff because I'm ready to rock. The only thing left under the car is the transaxle and the torque tube. I was gonna go ahead and pull those off, but they're pretty heavy. I'd like to wait for another person. And I think I need to drain the fuel tank because the fuel filter is attached to the cross member that the transmission's on. So we're gonna hold off on that. What we are gonna do is continue stripping this engine bay so that I can go ahead and get it prepped and start shaving it. Also need to finish stripping this interior, which is a wreck right now. Got shit all over the place. I've obviously still got sound deadening material all over that I need to get up. Wiring harnesses everywhere which need to go because the whole car is getting rewired. And that's got to get done so I can either start building my roll cage or order one and get it installed. One of the other reasons that I hadn't really gotten back into this car yet is because I was going to put it on a rotisserie. That's what all of this material is for. But. I've decided not to do that. I'm not taking shortcuts, but I'm not uh, quite gonna be channeling my inner chip foos either. Plus, I got a new car. I got another car that will be going on the rotisserie. And that's all I can ship. Too much, that's all I can show you. All right, one more thing. That's inside the door jam. That's a decent hint. I'm gonna turn on some music and get to work here. Unfortunately, you don't get to listen to nearly as good of music as I do because the copyright rules on YouTube suck. So hopefully you don't hate whatever I pick out for you because it typically sucks. Well, we've made progress. I've got three different piles going. A pile of parts, a pile of sweat, and a pile of gloves. No beer tonight. My clothes are starting to get a little tight again, so gotta watch the figure, you know? We got the washer reservoir out. We got the AC condenser out. Coolant reservoir. We got an aftermarket alarm, some wiring stuff, a coil, front of the car is cleaned out, and this whole side. I will deal with those brake lines and fuel lines later. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing with those yet. Probably running new. Still got this full mess to deal with. So let's keep going. <laughs> for you guys uh, and your cars, but mine always likes to be a dick uh, right as I'm finishing a project. This whole side, clean, got everything off. Obviously I gotta deal with the brake booster, but can't get to that till I do the stuff on the inside. You got a little bit of the wiring harness still sticking out here. Uh, the fuse panel, all that stuff gets done from the inside. So I was just gonna take the windshield wiper motor and everything off and I got this side off. And I went to break this nut free. And instead of the nut breaking free, 
the all the threads and everything so like this whole piece is just spinning so now I have to cut it off here goes nothing and look I'm even wearing safety glasses that's partially because I like my eyeballs and partially just because I don't want to hear any shit from you guys Aha! One more bolt! That, my friends, is what I call success! Look at all these leaves! I think something was living in here. But that's it. Engine bay is looking much better. This isn't the most exciting stuff to watch, but I mean, this is just part of a project. Figured I'd film it and you guys can follow along with the suck. Comment below, number one, let me know what you think about the new car and what you think it is. And also whether or not you guys are cool with this type of video. Obviously this isn't gonna be every video because well, I'm gonna get the inside of this cleaned out and then we're gonna be able to get to work. I'll do that by myself and then once I start really stripping the inside, then uh, I'll start filming again. Either way, this project is finally back on track and that's really exciting. See you next time.